Thousands of excursionists used to enjoy homemade ice cream and lemonade on this historic lakeside property in Potsdam until the old Park Cafe there closed its doors. 25 years after the fall of the Berlin Wall, Berlin-based architect Carlos Swick fell in love with the overgrown property. He bought it, including dilapidated monuments without a building permit, but with a vision. A family place was to be built here, a house that would uncompromisingly engage with the essential elements of the surrounding nature. Ancient trees, water, and the nature preserved emperor terraces. Given the name due to the fact that the emperor actually enjoyed drinking his coffee here in the past, determined the architectural concept of the Hausam Sea, translating to House by the Lake. Today, this house stands on 40 diagonal iron stilts, whose 10 individual foundations respectfully touch the emperor's terraces only at specific points. A steel grid supports the wooden floors, walls, and ceilings. The ecological balance is in place. This is ensured by the sustainable building materials as well as the solar thermal system on the roof. The 22-meter-long loggia extends across the entire width of the house. By the lakeside and with its glass railing, it provides the feeling of floating directly over the lake. Swans and herons make their rounds here at eye level with the inhabitants of the house. In the living areas, huge wooden sliding windows ensure the closest possible proximity to nature. The house and nature combine so effortlessly that it gives no hint of how challenging it was to accomplish. Neither tower crane nor truck-mounted crane could work between the lush trees, and so the entire house was erected only with the help of a mobile telescopic forklift. Long olive wood table, 7.5 meters in length, stands at the center of the spacious dining living room, the heart of the house, with a fireplace and large kitchen island. Here is where the family with six children come together and enjoy their meals. The two big dogs, Schroeder and Tilda, have also found their favorite spots here, where they spend hours warming their fur coats next to the lit fireplace.
height of three meters and with its facade of vertical larchwood slats, the structure becomes a modern treehouse. The building is divided into two construction bodies, which have a common central access core. There is no ceiling of the land. The tree-like stakes, which raise the house three meters above the ground, allow an unobstructed view from the protected terraces to Lake Jungfernsee. Preserving the ancient vegetation is a concern of the concept. For this reason, the location of the house volumes is chosen so that no trees need to be felled. It integrates unobtrusively into the crowns of the hundreds of years old oaks and chestnuts. Even the large maple that stood in the way of the house remained in place and now grows right through the middle of the living room. Contemporary paintings hang on the nearly three meter high walls. Some were created in the in-house studio where Zwick's partner paints, working and living. The house by the lake offers space for both. It seems like all the residents have arrived at their lakeside home. None of them wish to leave, and they don't need to, truth be told. However, even in the event that life circumstances change, the architect has already ensured that there are possibilities. The house is designed in such a way that it can be divided into three units with ease, or perhaps a really nice pensioner's shared living community, or even a multi-generational house. Everything is possible. Mm -hmm.